Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, we're going to a rave apparently, judging by the colors of my outfit. Actually, no. We're going to a, a, the music video shoot of Neon Lights by Demi Lovato. I feel like that's the vibe I'm going for. Rave? Clearly I've never been to a rave. <laughs> Exposed. What we're actually gonna do today in this outfit is not throw a neon lights party Although potentially you don't know which albums we're gonna be talking about because today I am going to make recipes inspired by my favorite albums You will learn so much about me even though if you've been on my channel you definitely will know my favorite album But there are more also I had a really really hard time to think of my favorite albums. I don't know if this has been done before I was just thinking how can can I somehow cook something with you guys while simultaneously boast about my amazing taste in music? <laughs> and then it hit me. Yeah. The idea of this video. I came up with that idea thinking it was gonna be pretty easy, but it was actually pretty hard because I also didn't know like what, what, what am I basing the recipes on? The vibe, the color of the cover art. I think in some, I just based my recipes on the feeling the album gave me, the vibe, the loudness of this construction site and also what I think I would be consuming listening to this album and also what the artist consumed. I mean you can think about it as well. What's your favorite album and what kind of recipe would you associate with that album? Let's just start with the first one which happens to be my very favorite album of all, all time, time thus far. And of course I'm speaking about no other album but Kiki Deluxe Version by Keanu Lede. I took some notes for this, okay? First off, I have a clear favorite song on that album, even though... Ooh. Oh my God. Uh, where was I? I have a clear favorite song on that album, but I love all of these songs. My favorite song is none for yet. Back to my notes. I don't know, I feel like it's such a bad bitch album, but also... Not. <laughs> it's just a really, really honest album, which Honest is also a song on that album. <laughs> so I'm only speaking facts here. I definitely wrote down confident, raw, unapologetic, sensual as well. She also has this bit of a fuck men attitude in there, which I very much appreciate. I mean, she has this fuck men these days, fuck, fuck them all, all. they don't hurt everyone's, everyone's feelings, feelings. and fuck them, them all. <laughs> In another song, she also says, Me, no offense to the good ones, but men ain't shit. Well, men ain't shit. Yeah, I'm a good like, she has some really sexy songs on there, you know? While she's this, like, really bad bitch, she's also very vulnerable, especially in the second half of the album. Sometimes she can be a little afraid of commitment, a failure. Which made me think, this is like a full-on situation. So we go through many, many emotions. So this is like something big. And so I was thinking, what is big? Luckily for me, in one of her songs called Lady Leg, she also says, too hungry for a salad, bitch. I need me a meal. Because at first, I was like, you know, maybe like a fruit salad. <laughs> From that point on, I was thinking of maybe a proper meal you would eat while you're out with someone or that you cook for someone because we're also talking about love here. Then I did my research. Actually, I knew all of it. No, and then I researched. <laughs> so I knew she's from Atlanta or Georgia. Georgia? No, I think she's from Atlanta. <gasps> I just realized now, literally while I spoke the words, that I should have spoken these words earlier because I knew she is from Arizona. She also says it in a song, I believe. But for some reason, I searched for meals from Georgia. <laughs> I don't know, I'm stupid, but let's just pretend it's like the same. Okay, let me just try and keep this short now that everything is wrong anyway. We're gonna make a vegan jambalaya. June jambalaya, if you will. A chocolate. Let me just... Do they eat jambalaya in Arizona? Let's just keep pretending it's basically the same state even though it's on the opposite side of the country. And let's make some vegan jambalaya. We can also now say that it's probably not an authentic recipe that we're gonna follow. For that reason, let's maybe not even call it a jambalaya, but just a proper meal, you know? Not a salad because bitch, she needs herself a meal. So here is what you'll need. Two tablespoons of olive oil, 160 grams of onion, two ribs of 
celery, one green bell pepper, and one red bell pepper. A teaspoon of salt, we're gonna add more probably. Also some pepper, six cloves of minced garlic, 185 grams of long grain rice, two tablespoons of tomato paste, a bit of sweet paprika, powder, some dried oregano, oh no, I've forgotten again what it's called, Cajun, and a bit of this seasoning mixture, <laughs> a can of diced tomatoes, a can of chickpeas, and a can of kidney beans, two green onions for serving, and 480 milliliters of vegetable broth. Firstly, we heat the olive oil over medium heat. Next, we add the onion, the celery, and the bell pepper and season it with salt and pepper. We're gonna cook it for about four minutes or until it's tender. Okay, next up, we're gonna stir in the garlic, the rice, some tomato paste, paprika, oregano, the kajuka, we're gonna let it cook for about a minute. It smells really, really nice. Okay, stir in the veggie broth and also the diced and tomatoes. Stir, stir, stir. Once you've stirred it all, stirred it all together, you shall cover it and let it cook for 15 minutes or until the rice is cooked. And we are back. Oh, oh, the lid is very hot. <laughs> Hello. Our rice looks cooked. I don't really know, but we're gonna have to cook it for another five to seven minutes, it says, after we put in our kidney beans and chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Let's hope this is yummy because I'm gonna have to eat this for the next three or four days. <laughs> Low heat, another six minutes. Our jambalaya is done. It smells really good. It smells so much like kiki. There you go, what do you think? <laughs> okay, I'll give you a better look. Ta-da! Honestly, it smells kind of Mexican. It smells like a taco. As a last step, we gotta sprinkle some spring onion on top. Are you hungry yet? I'm imagining Kiki right now. This is hot. It tastes good, very fresh. Not exactly what I would associate with Kiki the Deluxe right away, but since I've decided a couple of days ago that this is the recipe that resembles Kiki, I just have to agree with Pat Vincent. <laughs> I mean, this is a meal, no salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, to be honest with you, man, she's a fat fat. This is not really giving me Kiki vibes. On the other hand, Kiana would really like this. And these are the most important Kiki vibes that I needed from this. It's great. Fantastic. I'm sure our next one will be a total hit. I mean, this was a hit. It tastes really, really great. Moving on. <laughs> this one, I'm sure I'm gonna nail because this one was the easiest for me. I just knew right away what it is I'm gonna have to make. So this one will be a trip to the park. Uh, a walk in the park. <laughs> well, you have to get there somehow as well. Back to my notes. See, I wrote a lot for this one. We're speaking of It Was Divine by Alina Baraz. And if you listen to that, like, it was divine. Immediately, you think of something smooth, right? Something that goes off your lips very well or into your mouth very well. <laughs> My standouts on this album, again, really hard. Definitely to me and who got me. Also, My Whole Life, Endlessly, Morocco featuring Khalid. Say you know, yeah. This album is all about love, really, and her position in love and relationships, her view of herself, because in Who Got Me, she was like, who got me like I got me. In the end, she's like, I hope someday someone will say, I got you like you got you. Because I've got love for myself, but still I hope that at some point someone will love me the way that I love myself. But I'm like, I could cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Her vocals are so smooth, they just, mm, they melt into your ears, go through your entire body and just fill you with 
warmth, love, and just the greatest feeling ever. Never have I listened to an album that resembles a sunset more than this album. I've never done it before, but whenever I listen to this album, I'm driving on the beach. I'm in my car, um, actually I'm on the passenger seat and I have someone else drive the car because I hate driving, especially because I gotta listen to the music and look at the view. Like, I don't wanna concentrate on driving, like, and so immediately, I thought of a drink. This has to be a drink. Something light, airy. It definitely has to be like orangey, yellowish, maybe a little reddish because of sunset, obviously. I just bought a couple of juices that fit the color theme. And now we're just gonna mix it all together and hope that we have found the best mocktail there ever was. We need a tall glass because obviously you will dry for a while. Therefore, you need a big drink, a long drink. Here I've got some frozen mango that I defrosted it in the microwave and now we're gonna turn this into a nice little puree situation mm, this is such a pretty color how's that sweet unfortunately this is obviously hot right now we're still gonna put it on the bottom put some ice cubes in it oh now we're just gonna go with the flow here I've got some orange juice Orange is yellow, maybe almost covering the ice cubes. And then look, I found this cocoa pineapple juice. I was like, uh, summer, uh, amazing, uh, I need this. I got it. Mmm, this smells like coconut water. So obviously this is not gonna change the color or anything, so this isn't really doing much. I've got this grenadine gr gr granette syrup. <laughs> Will it sink? Oh yeah, it's gonna sink to the bottom. That's what I wanted. Wait, how much do you put? To be honest, I don't really like what it looks like right now. A slice of lemon right here. <gasps> Wowie, look at our drink. I'm gonna call it divine, divine. for obvious reasons. Wowie kakawi. Watch what happens when we stir, stir, stir this. Wait, let's not stir this. This is ugly. In my mind, before making this, this looked a little bit more divine. Right now, it looks like a bit of a nine, which is German for no. It's all about the taste in this life. So let's see if this will taste divine. Mm, I'm on my sunset drive. Mmm, so divine. Oh, it's also just extremely, extremely sweet. To be fair, it was sweet on sweet on sweet on sour, so. Honestly, if this was a little less sweet, I would get it was divine. Everyone, pat on the back. So that was so sunsetty and so nice, so summery. Maybe we're a little bit sentimental, but other than that, we're just happily in love. And then. Winter time, cold anxiety. <laughs> Our next album. I think this might be my second favorite album. It is JoJo, Try Not To Think About It. Mm, this album is just everything and more to me. I'm not sure if she considers it an album or just an EP, but I don't care because I never really get the difference between an album and an EP. Even though I love all of the songs, an album loaded with dark songs, I actually love the more boppy song on that album the most. It's called Spiral Season. And I love it so much because lyrically, this is sad. And then sound-wise, I saw myself in your one of those nights where I need it right now, you know? I can't chill. Oh. Never could, probably never will. This album is a very, very sad album. I think JoJo said that she's written it during a very dark period of her life. This album deals with her anxiety a lot. There is a song, Anxiety, on there. In parentheses, Berlinda's theme, because she calls her anxiety Berlinda. And that got me thinking, I don't have a name for my anxiety. But I still thought, what do I envision my anxiety to look like? And for me, it's like this big, dark, lump, blobby thing. <laughs> and what is that, guys? What kind of recipe would that be? Yeah, we're gonna be making a chocolate cookie right now. Obviously. And that was my first thought. And then I thought of the lyrics again, and in one interlude on that album, she's like, sugar and carbs are the only ones for the job. If I find that I'm too in my head. I just eat some cookies in bed. Yum. Okay, imagine great vocals, great harmonies, and then it sounds amazing. Yum. 
sometimes when you're sad, you just need something like comfort food. And apparently for her, it's like some cookies in bed. Yum. <laughs> that made me think that I made the right decision. So now we're gonna make some cookies and we're not gonna eat them in bed. Yum. <laughs> I'm gonna link the recipes in the description down below, but now we're gonna make a thick fudgy double chocolate cookie. Here's what you need for that cookie. 110 grams of salted butter, melted and cooled, 150 grams of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg, one and a half tablespoons of strong black coffee, 170 grams of flour, 38 grams of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, and 170 grams of chocolate chips. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Get yourself a bowl, then pour the butter into that bowl. Also put in the sugar. Awesome, wow. And the vanilla, <gasps> a lot of vanilla extract. Now mix it with your age old hand mixer until it is creamy and fluffy. Now let's just add the egg. Oh my God, recently I am unable to open eggs even though I've done it more now than ever. Mix it in until it is just incorporated. <laughs> In a separate bowl, we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. Flour, the cocoa powder, the baking soda, and the pinch of salt. Mixy, mixy, mixy. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And also always add a bit of the coffee. Apparently the dough should be thick and sticky, but dry enough to touch with your hands without making a huge mess. Ah, that is what we're looking for. As a last step, we're gonna stir in the chocolate chips. We're gonna roll the dough into even balls and place them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. These go into the oven now at 180 almost degrees Celsius for eight minutes. So the recipe says they will be underdone and super puffy, which makes them perfectly soft, thick, and fudgy when cooled. So yeah, they look very underdone but uh, I trust the process. I put two of the cookies into the fridge because I wanted them to harden a little quicker than the rest. <laughs> but I think it worked because they look fine and fudgy. Let's see if this will taste like anxiety and also <laughs> try not to think about it. I think they still need a little bit longer in the fridge. <laughs> Potentially the oven. <laughs> Raw. No, it's not raw. I actually really like it like this. Yeah, maybe half a minute longer in the oven. I mean, it's really good. This gave me exactly what I wanted it to give me. The only thing is, I would not consider my anxiety to be this sweet. So far, this is definitely the best when it comes to feel and look of the album, I think. So this one definitely hit the nail on the head. I used that right, right? Hello, here I am once again. Kelly Clarkson is back. Well, this is kind of awkward now that I brought her up because no, she does not have one of my favorite albums. <laughs> I mean, her voice is just amazing anyway. That said, let's speak about another artist. <laughs> and I've talked about them quite often on this channel already because I love them so much. I'm talking about Kehlani's 2020 album. It was good until it wasn't. It was actually hard for me to choose one of their albums because I love them all so much. I have not really looked into the lyrical context too much in some. I mean, it's called It Was Good Until It Wasn't. So it's really about good times and bad times. <laughs> to me, this just seems like a very dark album. Sadness, lost loves, toxicity, but also like passion, maybe lust and a lot of sexiness at the same time. Actually, my favorite song of that album is a really sexy song. It's called Water. I knew that for this recipe, I would have to make something like passionate as well, because this album is very passionate, lustful, something very sultry maybe. Just something that I think Kehlani would drink. And I think Kehlani is into very spicy drinks. I would assume, like there's no way of knowing. I was not thinking of food when listening to this album, no. We're definitely drinking something. So for this recipe, I was thinking, how can I make like a very old, cabinet tasting drink non-alcoholic what is out there like whiskey that's where my alcohol knowledge ends. <laughs> I basically just bought a couple of ingredients that are the color and taste similar-ish. All I know is that it will have to be served in this glass because this is Kelani. 
I don't know. Maybe I also will create this experience. Like, it was good in the beginning, and then it wasn't. I'm ready to create my masterpiece. We're gonna definitely need the chai. The chai is our base note, our base flavor. Then we're defo. Gonna need a bit of our coffee. Ooh, look at that. The rest is for me. Cannot forget about our lemon. We need this kind of alcohol sensation, so I am going to put a bit of this balsamic vinegar in. Just a tiny bit that would just lay on the ground and give you a bit of a feel. Almost the last step already is to just fill this up with our kombucha. Dame mas gasolina. This is perfect. I think we all know by now that I'm not good at like foaming milk, but I just want a little bit of like texture, you know? I just think it looks more interesting like this. Now what is missing? Two coffee beans. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this masterpiece. I'm so excited, guys. When I look at this, I immediately think it was good until it wasn't. It was good until I tasted it. <laughs> I only said it for the joke, honestly, this is pretty dope. <laughs> I'm honestly not kidding right now. Like this is kind of good. <laughs> that was such a success, this one. The two coffee beans, you guys, they make all the difference. That is the vibe, 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 vibe. And those were Kiana Day's words. Guys, full circle. That is a full circle moment and we're ending this video on this full circle moment. It was such a kind of spontaneous idea, this video, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. It really, really made me think of these albums in a different light. I would love to do more of these. Maybe I could do some recipes inspired by popular albums because these albums aren't very popular. Maybe songs? I could do songs. Or your guys' favorite songs or your guys' favorite albums. I want to do it all. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!